Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What it do, gang? We live. We back. Welcome, welcome back to the Golden Goose DFS show. Y'all know me. It's your host, Chandler Blakely, a.k.a. Goose. Y'all know why I'm here. I'm bringing you another edition of this starting five for DraftKings and Fan Duel on this Wednesday, all right? But before we do that, you know, we got the line of review. I'm going over yesterday's slate, just saying how we did in our thought process. So we got that queued up for y'all. We're going to get right into it. If you're new to the channel, you're in the right spot. Hit that subscribe button. Definitely turn your notification bell on. And y'all know what I'm going to say, man. Everybody in the sound of my voice, please do me one small favor. Hit that like button for your boy, man. If you're checking out the content and you've been watching it, man, that's the best way to show love. If you appreciate the content, man, I've been giving you some solid plays, some plays that help you. The best way to show love is hit that like button. Or you can send your tips to my cash app and uh, PayPal in the description. All right? Let's get to it, though. Uh, last night, the story of my night on DraftKings was too much killing in haze. I got my best lineup pulled up. This was the uh, $3.00. Three max, I think, right here. Yeah, three thirty-three. A lot of threes. That might be the number today, but yeah, it's a three-dollar three max. I put up three thirty-three, and you can if you caught the starting five yesterday. Yesterday was one of those slates, man. That was just very simple, laid out, very self-explanatory. The value was clear. The play stood out. Everybody knew Butler, and you had so much value that you can get up to Luca or whoever you wanted. It was just how you got. It was just getting different in one or two spots, and hopefully, and hopefully you did it correctly. But at the top, Killian Hayes, twelve percent on. Just wanted to go there. All those guys was out. Killian Hayes has been playing well this season. He just didn't get the minutes a and didn't shoot well b. Like he only played twenty four minutes due to the blowout, and he was like two of eleven from the field. Just did not have a good game from the field shooting the ball. So only twenty fantasy points right here. Like I said, in twenty four minutes, then just didn't get the minutes and didn't shoot well. Nothing we could really do about that. Uh, at the shooting guard, everybody know Dwayne Washington. He was just a chalky play, but very solid. Thirty two. You see, we got him sixty three percent on over here. Humna Diallo, man, came in a little higher than I thought. I left him in on DraftKings. Once that the starting lineup came out and I saw Knox was starting, I figured mo I thought majority of people were running Knox. I feel like Diallo was a little bit slightly better play than Knox. Not by much. It's just I know Diallo has had huge fantasy games in the past and big games he's capable of doing. So I was more comfortable with him over Knox and but a lot of little ownership stayed there. He came in at twenty five percent, but twenty nine DK points. Jimmy Butler, 62%. Everybody knew to go there. 62 fantasy points for him, huge. Omar Robinson, the the value play at the center, it ended up being a lot of value plays between him and Lindell, and then Stewart got ruled out. That opened up Nerlens Noel. But Orlando Robinson, man, 66% uh, on 15 fantasy points. Just a big foul trouble from him, man. They closed the game with a uh, Kane, I think, in there. But yeah, he just didn't uh, just didn't get his full run foul trouble from him. So uh, at the guard, Luka Doncic. Yeah, I know normally I don't like paying up 12, six this half of guys, but it was just so much value. You had to spend your money somewhere. Like you had legitimate like four or five guys in the three Ks you could have played. Like, so it was just so much value. It, it made it easy to get the Luka. And he gave us 72 fantasy points. Nice outing from him in this spot at 51% on. Kawhi Leonard, you saw him on yesterday's video. I told you no PG just signed me up, man. He rewarded us right here with a big game. Right at 61 fantasy points at 40% on. And then sorry, this was my pivot trying to get a little different. I uh, knew everybody was going to be Jock Landell or maybe some Biombo. Some people switched and got nervous in the well. But 3,300 Sarek on a shorthanded Suns team, a guy who just had to see minutes. I felt like he was a great pivot from some of those guys, and we was correct. Got him at 10% on, and he balled out for us. Crush Biombo and uh, Landell with 41 fantasy points over here. So, as you can see, my one snowflake, Killian Hayes, just destroyed me on fan. I mean, on DraftKings. But... Let's go look at FanDuel. I'm going to try this again. Uh, FanDuel has been tripping this morning, man. I cannot view my lineup. It hasn't closed the contest from last night. So we wouldn't be able, we ain't going to be able to get into it. But as you can see, I got it on your screen. We finished like 20 points shy of the money. This is the uh, $10 single entry. Put up $345. My, um, the uh, the plays that killed me over here, over here I went man and Landell. That's what destroyed me over here on FanDuel. 
just uh, trying to get different on a different side. If I had kept it the same on both sides, I, it would have. It's one of those nights where I would have won. But I really don't like to keep it the same on both sides. One because the pricing is different, and two, you know, I like to cover my bases. So we went man and Landell over here. What it what ended up hurting us, keeping us from the money over here. But three forty five fantasy point won't be able to see that line. Let's get to today's slate. All right. And yes, that is the correct name you see at the top. We got a nice eight game of the day, and I do not mind going right back to Killian Hayes. All right, <laughs> if everybody, if all those guys are out, Bogdanovich is out. Well, Bogdanovich is really the only one I need to be out. I don't care about Duran and whatever. If Bogdanovich is out, I don't mind going right back to Killian Hayes. Like I said, limited run last night. Didn't shoot well. He got a better matchup here against the Minnesota Timberwolves. Should be a little more faster-paced game than going against the 76ers. So it's a better game environment for him. He should hopefully able to keep it a little closer in this matchup. And he can get his full run. If he get 30 minutes is the key. If he can get over 30 minutes, man, he can drop 40, 45 fantasy points and crush this price tag. So I don't mind getting back to Killian Hayes today, even though he killed me last night, all right? Shooting guard, it's going to be Dwayne Washington Jr. again if everybody, we know Chris Paul is out, I'm pretty sure. He could sneak back in there, we'll see though. But if Shaman is out again, just give me Dwayne Washington. Should start, see the minutes again. He's going to be everybody uh, chalk play, but he should be solid chalk, even though they might get crushed by these Denver Nuggets. Uh, don't, don't let last night fool you. They 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 scrap it. They stayed with the Golden State Warriors. They getting stuff back, trying to get their stuff back together. This ain't that against Denver. Denver might run these boys off the flow. You don't like to try to predict uh, blowouts, but if, if if especially if Aiden is out and man, listen, who they gonna? You think it could get real ugly, man? It could get so ugly, especially if Landale and Biombo got to check Jokic. It just can get out of hand. So definitely be worried about the blowout over here. But I think he's still solid if all those guys are out. At the small four, just sign me up for Zach Levine. Hopefully, they keep DeRozan out. This is this is mainly a, De, a DeRozan play here. If DeRozan is out, you can just sign me up for Zach Levine, man. Now, if you've been playing fantasy for a while, you know, but Zach Levine pre DeRozan and ball and all them boys was doing this thing out there. You know he gonna shoot that thing. Give me Zach Levine and eight K of DeRozan. I'm gonna absolutely love it. At the power four. If Porzingis is out, give me Kyle Kuzma, man. We got Porzingis questionable right now. We know Bradley Beal is out. If Porzingis is out, Kuzma is just going to step into a lar even larger role. You're really going to see point Kuz. You know I like running with point Kuz, man, 8,500. If Porzingis is out, just lock me in on Kyle Kuzma, all right? And at the center spot. I don't mind playing Levine and Vooch together in this matchup against Washington. It looks it's like a little mini game stack. I might be going with that right now. But if DeRozan is out, man, Levine and Vooch are going to do everything for this Bulls team. Everything goes through them. Like, they probably, uh, if, if DeRozan is out, uh, I don't know. They could move Derrick Jones into the starting lineup. They could bring another guard in and put Zach at the three. It's a couple different ways they can go. But the point I'm trying to make to you, it don't matter who they put in there. You think the Sumo finna drop 40 out here? It's going to be the Levine and Vooch show, and I'm here for it, man. Give me Nikola Vucevic at 8,100 going against these Washington Wizards, man. And the Wizards got Gafford out, so I don't even know what big they're going to have. Like, if Gafford and Porzingis sit, it can get real ugly, man. Give me Levine, Vooch. I'm rolling with it. There you have it, man. You're starting five for DraftKings. Killian Hayes, Dwayne Washington Jr., Zach Levine, Kyle Kuzma, and Nikola Vucevic. Let's go look at FanDuel and see what I'm feeling over there, all right? At the top, man, FanDuel. Want to look at D'Angelo Russell, 7K. Going against these Pistons here. Uh, Anthony Edwards has been banged up, playing through injury. I feel like he can miss at any time, and today would be a good uh a good as good a time as any going against the Detroit Pistons. I think the the uh Minnesota Timberwolves can beat the Pistons without Anthony Edwards in this spot right here. So maybe they elect to rest him and try to get him to heal up. He's been playing through a hip injury, I think. So but DeAndre Russell's in play regardless. He's gonna see 30 to 35 minutes in close contest. He's capable of lighting it up. I know he hasn't had a big game in a minute. But he's very capable of filling it up, man. Like I said, if for if, if any reason Anthony Edwards sits, gets in foul trouble, anything happens, man, he's just going to become that much better of a player. I like the little Russell at 7K right here on FanDuel. 
at the shooting guard. I don't mind looking at DeJounte Murray, 8,200. I like this price tag. Going against the Milwaukee Bucks. And just a thought process here. DeJounte Murray has been playing better as of late. Don't mind the last game or two. But before that, he's been playing very well. Pushing triple doubles. In this spot against the Milwaukee Bucks where Trey Young could see some, more than likely going to see some tough Drew Holiday defense on the ball on him constantly. So, maybe not saying he's Trey Young, man. These are NBA superstars. They can ball on anybody. But Drew is one of the best defenders in the league, and any NBA star will tell you that. So, I, I'm hoping that's going to well, I'm pretty sure that's going to lead to him deferring a little more than he would in certain situations. So, that could open up more uses for DeJounte Murray, and I like getting to him at 8,200. Just a guy that's going to fill up the stat sheet for you. And if that shot is falling, him, he can give you a big number. All right? I like DeJounte Murray here in this spot. Small forward, ain't no secret. Zach Levine, I told you, I am all aboard the Zach Levine train today, man. Sign me up if DeRozan is out. Both sites in play. Let's get it. Power forward, still going to be definitely Kyle Kuzma over here, 7,400. If Porzingis is out, I don't care if Gafford is out or nothing. Kuzma is the man, 7,400. He's probably going to be super chalk on FanDuel at this price. Just let you know if He's going to be uber chalk, but I think it's great chalk, especially in the matchup. Give me Kyle Kuzma. And then at the center, I want to go back to Yaka Pertle. These two teams just played each other. Uh, Pertle only saw 26 minutes, got in a little foul trouble. Hopefully he can avoid that this time out. And you know, Yaka Pertle is a double-double threat every time he steps on the court. And he has multiple block upsides, which is huge over here on FanDuel where you get three points for blocks and steals. So definitely got some interest in Yaka Pertle at 6,400 going against the Memphis Grizzlies. There you have it, man. You're starting five for FanDuel. Yaka Pertle, Kyle Kuzma, Zach Levine, DeJounte Murray, D'Angelo Russell, all right? As always, guys, if you got any comments, questions, hit me up in the comment section or over on Twitter. I'll respond as soon as I see it. You know, talk to me. i talk back. Let's get it. You know the motto, man. Chances make champions. i see y'all tomorrow, all right? Let's get it.